Good morning, good morning, good morning. It's your girl, Stoney, the one and only, your favorite stoner. And you already know the vibes. Like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you be notified every time your girl posts. Tell a friend, tell a friend, tell a friend, to your grandma, your auntie, your uncle, tell everybody that we what? We lit over here. I know I'm looking real crusty, dusty, whatever. We in the middle of cleaning it up. So I got on my buggy. It got weed stains all over it, all that, but that's not the point point is your girl got some new curtains so we can take them ugly crusty curtains that my husband loves so much down and they're coming down today so say goodbye to them ugly ass curtains over there say goodbye i am recording on my phone right now i just didn't feel like picking picking up my regular camera but i have a book haul um two of these books y'all already seen well three of them y'all already seen so i'm gonna take them three off and these are the notebooks that i got from thrift books so the books that y'all did already see is disappearing acts by terry mcmillan you guys already seen the stranger upstairs and then you also already seen vampire of el north hey so you already seen them three books. So I'm gonna put those off to the side. And the new books that we have is, hold on, I'm feeling real crusty, dusty. Let me take this off, at least. Let me take that off. There was some kind of, you know, sitting on my vanity. So there was some type of something. something. All my lip glosses is in there. And I don't feel like grabbing my bag. We're gonna deal with it. But yes. Okay, so new books. I have Darlene Venom by Parker S. Huntington. Then I have Who Put This Song On by Morgan Parker. And the synopsis on this is, I can never say that word right. Morgan Parker put this song on and I hope it never turns off. It is a New York Times bestseller. And she is the author of Dear Martin and Odd One Out. So it says, if you start to see the rules differently, you start to see yourself differently. Trapped in sunny, stifling, small town suburbia, 17-year-old Morgan can't count the number of times she's been the only non-white person at the sleepover been teased for her wear outfits and been told she's not really black lately morgan feels like the whole world is listening to the same terrible track on repeat and it tells them how to feel who to vote for who what to believe morgan starts to wonder when can she turn this song off and start living for herself that's a good question <laughs> Loosely based on award-winning poet Morgan Parker's own teenage life and diaries, this incredible debut will make readers stand up and cheer for a girl brave enough to live life on her own terms and for themselves. I am that person. I live how I want to live, hence why my YouTube channel is Life Through My Eyes. I ain't, baby, I ain't living for nobody but Stoney, okay? Next, I have Now That I Found You by Christina Forrest. And it says this glowing blend of romance, mystery in New York City. I love New York City. I watch Sex and the City all the time. My mother put me on to that show, even though I shouldn't have been watching it at the age that I was watching it. But now that I'm older, I binge watch all six seasons and I love it. I still love it to this day. And I just might binge watch that when I'm done recording this. <laughs> It said, this glowing blend of romance, mystery, New York City warmed my heart and made me laugh out loud. It says, I think I'm going to be sick. We can probably rule out that she's missing. Milo says, refolding the note and handing, handing it back to me. He still has crust in his eyes and sleep lines on his cheeks. I have dog hair on my books already. And I ain't even read, read them yet. It says, what do you mean? I say, of course she's missing. You just took out three years to read her note. 
you just took about three years to read her note he narrows his eyes and says i did read the note and what i read let me know that she left on purpose i think the better word is disappeared oh yeah that much be that's much better i say sarcastically i worry the note in my hands but i stopped because i'm afraid i might rip it we might need this for evidence in the future the last note that Gigi wrote before she went AWOL, the cops will have to keep it in a missing person file. The story will break out everywhere. Gigi and I will be the subjects of yet another scandal. Nobody can find out about this. Nobody. I talked to her this I talked to her this morning, Milo says, snapping me out of my downward spiral. What I asked, gripping his arm, you talked to her? Why didn't you lead with that? You didn't give me a chance to, he says, rubbing his arm where I grabbed him. What did she say? Tell me word for word. Oh, it's a mystery. I like that. Okay. I didn't know it was a mystery when I put it in my cart. I was just looking for like colorful colors because I didn't have any colorful books. All my books is like dark and dull. Okay. Next, I have On Top of Glass by Karina Monta. My stories as a queer girl in figure skating. I definitely wanted to read this one because I love figure skating and I love that she's a queer girl. Why are you sneaking up the stairs? She right here. And then last but not least, I have Opposite of Always by Justin A. Reynolds. And I believe this is a romance. Now, let's get into the goods because I got some shoes. And I got to show y'all the shoes. So in order for me to show y'all the shoes, I feel like I got to take this off. And y'all got to see my feet. So I'm going to make sure I put them on. I'm gonna put on something. Hold on, I'll be back. What's up, what's up? Good morning, good morning, good morning. It is Monday, so I am definitely off track with this vlog. I was supposed to have edited it, finished it, and edited it yesterday. But, like I said, a lot been going on because we have the puppies. So, I'm trying to close it out while I'm at work. But it's a little loud. Um, I was going to show y'all the shoes, but I think I'm going to do that in a separate video. I'm going to just keep this strictly about books and put this in a whole separate playlist, like a books playlist. Um, I did finish reading A Thousand Boy Kisses by Tilly Cole, and that book put me in shambles. Would I recommend it? Hell yeah. How many stars do I give it? five spice no spice it's romance but the book is like top tier like that book had me in tears from beginning to end i'm fucking telling you um and then you already know the book i am currently reading is disappearing acts by Terry McMillan. Once again, I seen the movie, but I never read the book. Um, what else? I was reading. Um, what's that book called? What is that book called? See, I'm recording on my phone, so I can't go on my phone and see. But um, I'm gonna put it up in one of these corners so either gonna be in this corner or that corner and all i'm gonna say is i couldn't get into it and i'm not one of them people well now i don't force myself to read books and i wasn't about to sit up there and force myself to read it but cover of the book beautiful it was highly talked about on the black girl book talk um it's just i couldn't get into it so i dnf'd it um what other book yeah, so I DNF that book. I finished A Thousand Boy Kisses. Gave that five stars. Also, if you want to know more in depth, follow me on Instagram at stony.smalls. A, a more in depth review. And also, my Goodreads is linked on there. So you also can just go to my Goodreads and see what books that I have read this year and see what books is on my TBR. 
I'm also gonna make a separate video of the books that's in my TBR, but I'm gonna make a video of the books that's in my TBR online and then do a separate video for like my physical books that I have. So that is it for this vlog. It was very short and sweet. Not too much on y'all. I'm easing into this booktube thing because I never did booktube. I'm more of a bookstagrammer and a book talker. Um, so make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe. I love you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And make sure you hit that notification bell to be notified every time your girl posts. And I will see y'all in the next vloggy vlog.